So it is a sad day. The Camaro decided to finally give up the ghost on the transmission. Uh, the 700, 700 R4 kind of crapped out on me. Um, third gear became neutral. So basically, I'm going to take advantage of this time to replace the transmission, probably rebuild the engine, or do something crate engine-y. Uh, but either way, I'm going to start working on my TPI setup. So this is a junkyard TPI plum. Basically, it is still pretty gross. It's full of carbon, full of grossness. Um, I'm going to start to refurbish this thing and get it ready for porting, polishing, and making a little more power, hopefully. Um, between this and the lower and the runners, we should be pretty well good to go. So I'm gonna start by clearing the inside of this out so I'm gonna be able to see what I actually have. Um, and you see it's pretty gross. So I'm just gonna hit it with some brake clean on the inside. That should kind of knock out most of the garbage and we'll see what we have for how it's been monkeyed with. So when it comes to porting the TPI, there's really a few things you need to look at here. So if you're looking at the front, where the throttle body goes, you'll notice this ridge. So this ridge essentially just blocks off holes back here that goes back to these. To that one in particular, actually. So. We're gonna start by knocking down this ridge before anything else, just to make it kind of flush with the floor. And once that's done, we can kind of look at everything else. This is just the most problematic thing to begin with, um, especially if you wanna go with a bigger throttle body. So let's get rocking on that and see kind of what measurements we end up with for these flanges as well. But I'm gonna start on that with the die grinder. So at this point now, we have knocked down the main kind of like wall in front of that throttle body. So what comes next is take a barrel um, and just kind of smooth everything out, make, make sure it's nice um, and not corroded, not gross, not covered in oil, and smooth more importantly. Once that is done, we'll move to gasket matching the runners. Um, I've got Arizona Speed Marine Runners put on this. So that'll need to be gasket matched. This is for a 91, 92 car. Um, you can tell by the shorter um, lines on top of the intake, the 88s and whatnot had, the math cars basically, had lines up to about here on the intake. So I'm gonna keep rolling on this kind of smooth this out a little bit and show you what I end up with. All right, so you'll notice I've got quite a few tools out at this point. Um, and, and the big thing for that is things like the, sm the small stone, the small burr, um, larger sanding uh, blocks, discs, uh, drums, geez, files, kind of have a mix of everything. Um, I like using this little Dremel with a small stone or a small burr because it's really controllable. Now you can really see here, I'm able to keep the thing moving. And I want to keep the thing moving, you know, around this just to make sure that I've got uh, nice round holes, basically. Don't want to dig into it other than this one spot here and over here. So I want to eliminate those steps. So I'm going to get going on this. I'll leave the camera rolling while I do. You know, a burr would make this significantly faster, but I'm not really after speed here. I just want to make sure that I'm more accurate than anything else. If you want to use a burr, that's fine. Just kind of know you could get in trouble with it. But I mean, that's kind of nature of the beast with hoarding and polishing and this kind of thing in general. So after everything is said and done, we're kind of looking at basically, basically now we've got this wide open, these sides can now be used with the new runners. I still have to do this side, but basically this is where we came from and where we're trying to go. You guys like what you're seeing with this TPI setup? 
please comment down below. Let me know. Please like, please subscribe. Have a good one, and I will see you on the road.